So it's made official today, Ronald Koeman is the new manager of Barcelona. Um, on his unveiling, he said, everyone knows that Barcelona is my dream club. It feels very special to me to be able to become a coach there. Well, let's welcome in Gab Marcotti. Gab, first off, if this is his dream move, why didn't he take it earlier on in the year when he was offered it, when Valverde was initially sacked? Well, of course, he's got the other dream, of course, which is uh, winning the Euros with, uh, uh, with Holland. Um, like, I, I think Koeman, I think things are obviously uphill for Koeman, not just because of the situation with the club, but I think in some ways he suits everybody um, because Bartomeu gets a guy in and the history and whatever else. There's elections coming up. Um, if, they, if there's a new president, well, there will be a new president coming in, but if it's an, an anti-Bartomeu president, um, he could just get rid of Koeman and bring in his guy next summer. Um, or he can keep Kuman around if Kuman does well, but you know never quite assume the paternity of Kuman, blame him on, on Bartomeu, and you know I think these are the circumstances under which Kuman got got his job. Like, like people raise eyebrows, but it's a blank slate. He's got a difficult job. He's got limited room to maneuver. Now it's up to him. Where does this all leave Messi? Gab, how much would he have been consulted in this appointment? Do you think he's happy with this appointment? Does it mean he's going to stay? What's the lay of the land? I mean, I think you'd be mad to bring in a manager without at least consulting Messi or, or knowing um, what he's thinking. Um, you know, these rumors about him mulling a move, I don't know. I mean, uh, there, there's so many reasons not to believe them. Um, Kuman does have a reputation as a player's coach and maybe, you know, that was part of the thinking uh, as well. Um, but, but, but the fact of the matter is Bartomeu knows it's kind of out, out of his hands to some degree because, again, he's not going to be the president that much longer and so he doesn't need to bend over backwards and cater to Messi. If Kuman comes in and says, look, I'll steady the ship, I won't embarrass you, um, I'll work with what I have, I'm not going to go and... And, you know, and, and, and demand new signings or whatever, I can make this work. I think that's all that Bartomeu is asking for right now, a bit of peace and calm, a bit of tranquility. Obviously, Bartomeu came out yesterday saying, basically, Messi's my one, he's not, not for sale. There are others as well, at least in the likes of Ter Stegen. However, other names, and of course, significantly, when you make these sort of statements, people will focus on the players that you didn't mention, including the likes of Luis Suarez. And you kind of think, well, if you're trying to offload these players, surely the best way to do it isn't to tell everybody you're going to try and offload these players. No, and look, there, there, there's a reality here, right? The reality is that you know that they need cash and they want to raise cash, and the only way they can do it is by selling players. But then you also know that a lot of these guys that we're talking about are older. Um, you know, in Suarez's case, I think he's 33 now. Uh, he's on huge wages. Uh, there's very few clubs that, that can afford him, and those clubs that can afford him likely aren't going to give you a big transfer fee for him. So um, the fact of the matter is he doesn't need to mention Suarez because it's going to be very, very difficult for, unless Suarez decides, yeah, I want to leave, uh, or he gets benched, it's going to be very, very difficult for him uh, to shift them. You know, the, the issue with Barcelona is they have a very limited number of realistically saleable assets and those saleable assets, people like Ter Stegen, people like Ansu Fati, you know, aren't the kind of guys that they want to sell. Mm. So uh, they, they're kind of painted in a corner, and that's why you saw them do a deal like the, the Artur for Pjanic deal, which was, you know, effectively for accounting purposes. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.